Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. If you like the world of technology and more, especially the world of smartphones, surely in the last few weeks you've heard about Virtual Dynamic or Blue SRAM, since each brand names it a little as they want. But anyway, the idea is the same, and more and more brands are already implementing it in their mobile phones, whether it's from the factory or even with later updates. With this technique, what they accomplish is to increase the performance of mobile phones by virtualizing RAM memory, consuming a part of the phone's ROM storage. If you're a little savvy, you'd know that this process has been used for quite a time on PCs, but it's currently starting to be used a lot on smartphones. First, let's quickly explain what RAM is. RAM or random access memory is the device's memory that's responsible for store the processes or apps that are open at the moment, as well as being able to keep them, for example, in the background. This directly affects the device's performance because the more apps or processes we have open, the more RAM we consume and the phone becomes progressively slower. So, the more RAM we have, the more apps and processes we can keep open without it filling up quickly and beginning to impact the phone's performance. And this is exactly where virtual RAM comes into play, which uses a portion of the phone's internal storage to transform it into RAM temporarily and expand this memory if necessary. Depending on the device, we can take different gigabytes from the internal memory to transform them into RAM, usually between 2 and 4, depending a bit on the brand. For a practical example, imagine we have a mobile phone with 4 gigabytes of RAM and 2 gigabytes of virtual RAM, which are activated. If we open apps until those 4 gigabytes of RAM are full, what the phone will do is automatically take 2 gigabytes of internal memory and temporarily transform them into RAM memory and have a total of, instead of 4 gigabytes, 6 gigabytes of RAM. So those 4 gigabytes that were full and could no longer store more open apps are going to be able to expand and store more apps up to 2 gigabytes more. Therefore, we're going to free up the phone and even if we have many apps open, we're going to give it a boost so the phone doesn't lag or lock up but those two gigabytes will help the phone continue working relatively smoothly. On the other hand, if our phone doesn't have virtual RAM, let's imagine that we've got those same four gigabytes but without virtual memory. If we fill those four gigabytes with open applications once they're full, there's nowhere for it to go. So the phone is going to start experiencing a lot of lag and slowdowns. The phone may even freeze or restart. Anyway, this process can help with the lack of RAM in some cases, but under no circumstances is it a permanent solution, as performance in this case is always going to be slower than normal RAM. Even though we may not notice, it also has a limited number of reads and writes, so the more we use our internal storage as virtual RAM, the less lifespan it will have. So for me, if you're looking for a mobile phone, I'd always recommend looking for a phone with as much RAM as possible. Well folks, that's it for today. I really hope this video has helped. If it has, don't forget to give me a like. That's super important. You'll also find the thank you button below. As you know, that's incredibly helpful. If you could click it, it really helps me to keep growing. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. From me, that's all. As always, it's been a pleasure and I'll catch you in the next one.